Hi, in this video I will talk about the in-game economy in my project. To begin with, I decided to determine what the player will be able to buy. Since the game is about building a deck of perks, let the main commodity be the very perks. Well, what else might be useful on the journey? I decided that the player would be severely limited in health, so health uh, restoration might be desirable to acquire, and since health is limited, selling increases in maximum health could be an option. I thought this was a good idea. So I've decided on the goods. It's time to think about what will serve as currency. Firstly, it will be gold. It can be obtained by killing enemies, breaking items in rooms, as well as the reward for completing rooms. The second currency is perks. Since the player's slots for perks are limited, there needs to be a way to get rid of the less useful ones. But throwing them away seems a bit of waste. So why not use them as payment for other perks or for increasing maximum health? By the way, about maximum health. That's also currency. You can buy rare perks for it, so the player will have to choose between more health and better perks. And the four builds can be constructed not only from, from perspective for perk synergy, but also from perspective of risk. For example, gather strong perks but remain with minimum health, or become a tough target for enemies but limit yourself in perks. Now that the goods and currencies have been decided, it remains to implement the places where the player can trade. And I started with the biggest one, the merchant stall. In it, the player can buy perks and I also plan to add the ability to restore health for gold. The prices for perks will be determined by their rarity. I'm currently working on an exchanger, through which the player can exchange the existing perks for new perks or increase in maximum health. I wanted to make them look like a rendering machine with color, but my girlfriend said they look more like coffins, so they wait to a decision. In this video I often mentioned perks, so I think I need to talk a bit more about them. I like how the perks were done in Hades, where they don't add new actions to the player, but modify or complement what the player already has, and I decided to do something similar. Currently there are 7 perks related to poisoning implemented. With them the player can poison nearby enemies using attacks, dashes, even jumps. There are also passive perks that enhance the effect of poison or allow it to spread among enemies. Next I plan to continue working on the economy, implementing the exchanger and the altar. The altar is essentially also an exchanger but it's used to exchange the player maximum health for perks. I also plan to add a visualization of perks, so that it is visually clear when abilities trigger and what enemies take damage from. 